everyone. Now you can spend a fortune on a fancy corsage or you can do what we do here at Home and Family and DIY one yourself. Yes. So here to help us celebrate our June weddings season with beautiful wedding corsages is celebrity florist Amy Morella. Welcome back, Amy. <laughs> These are me. really stunning. Good. I mean, you've done such a beautiful Try to job. Step with it up these. a notch, change it from the traditional look. I was going to say, so you know, <laughs> corsages are they're traditional for most weddings, but right. you say they are changing quite a bit now. We've had a lot of changes with it. We still have the traditional corsage, you know, that we want to give to grandma, and she wants it, she's expecting it. Um, but then we've got, you know, mom and the bridesmaids, and they don't really want that old school traditional corsage. So we've tried to change it up a little and give them a piece of jewelry or a bracelet or right. something that looks a little different. What you have done here today, we have the bracelets, we have the wristlets, we have the the jewelry, the the cuffs, they're so beautiful. But let's, let's start with a traditional wristlet. How would we make one of these ourselves okay. at home? So our basic wristlet is some type of base that we need to work with that's like okay. an elastic band. Now, nowadays you can get them like with pearls on it or something like that, but you need the mechanics. And where will we get that? Um, this we can get at a floral craft store. Okay. Any, any craft store would work. All right. But the most important part is prepping your flowers. Okay. So I started prepping everything here for, so we have all our flowers individually laid out. You and I are gonna make a couple okay. really quickly. So, so I'm why is this the most you. important part? So if we, don't have all of our flowers ready, then we are gonna try and put them all together in the corsage and it's gonna fall apart on the wedding day. I see. So okay. we wanna make sure that they're wired properly. So I'm gonna give you a piece of wire. So take floral that, wire is that. important, otherwise so they're gonna fall apart. The key here is taking a small piece of wire, this is the floral wire, correct, and we're gonna poke a hole into the head of the rose okay. all the way through, and now it just looks like a little T. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna push it down like that. All right. And now it's crossed. And you're gonna take your stretchy floral tape. We've right. used this before. Um, when you pull the tape, so right now it's not tacky. Okay. When you take your piece, I'll take my piece. All right. When you get your tape, you stretch it. Okay. And it creates a little bit of tack to oh, it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and then you start at the top. Okay. And we twist it, and we just keep twisting, twisting it all the way down. All the way down. Now, what kind of flowers would you use for these corsages? I like to use flowers that are hardy because this is something that you kind of, you're hugging people, you're bumping into people. Sure. You know, you want to make sure that it's going to last. And we also want small flowers. We don't want okay. huge flowers um, on our corsages. Because okay. one, they're going to fall apart, but two, it's not as delicate. And this, right. is, a, this is a jewelry piece. You know, right. so you don't want to look exactly. at it and make it sweet. Okay, so, so now we've got our... All of our flowers prepped. Now you're gonna do this for every single flower. Okay. You're gonna do this for like your little filler flowers, the roses, the orchids, um, anything like that. So then once everything's prepped, just lay it out and decide which flowers am I gonna use. So if I'm using, let's say, um, some berries, I might wanna add an orchid to That's that. That's beautiful, Amy. Um, and see, everything's is secure, so okay. we're not worried about it. So now it's add gonna a rose. sustain the entire yeah. evening. And then once I put a few of them together, I'm gonna wrap it with some more floral tape. Okay. This is a lot simpler than I would have imagined. It's you know, you really, can do this at home. It's the prep. It's all yeah. about the prep. If you have the prep right, you're good. And then you're going to put these these three together. And now we've got another piece organized. Okay. So we're going to keep organizing them until we have enough pieces together that we can then put them on our base. How do you put them on the base? How do you so, secure them there? This this one is really easy, um, and most of them have like this really great little um, mechanism that you just kind of push together okay. to close it. So I'm gonna put that on there and then I'm going to just bend you guys it. see that okay? I'm gonna bend it just like that. And then I'm gonna add my next one and I'm gonna keep doing it and then I'll add a ribbon in the middle. And then ultimately I'm gonna end up like my piece. Like over the one here. over here and you'll hide yeah. all the mechanics. And you hide all the mechanics the and then beautiful. this is just your bracelet and it fits perfectly on it. And there. this is the same process we could use for the men with boutonnieres as well. Correct. correct? Wire same your flowers, sort of put it all together, take a really pretty piece of ribbon and finish it off and so you don't go. see the bottom. Just like yeah, that. Just like that. Let's move on to these beautiful modern cuffs because this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. And I have to be honest with you, if I were going to prom again in high school, right. that would be this something would be the I better would want to wear, right? For sure. Yeah, because these are just gold and silver cuffs. Um, you know, online floral craft store, not expensive, nothing, okay. nothing crazy. Um, this one has texture, this one's flat, this one has texture, doesn't really matter. All right. Um, the key to this one is, again, smaller blooms. Okay. Um, and this floral adhesive. Could we use hot glue? The only reason I don't like hot glue is it pops off of the metal. Okay. And when you put this in the refrigerator, 
you know, if you made this the night before or two days before and mm -hmm. you put this in the refrigerator, it might pop off. Okay. Um, I'm really particular about our glue when it comes to these corsages because, again, we're hugging people, we're touching yeah. people. We want to make sure it stays. And how, uh, speaking of, you're putting it in the refrigerator, how many days ahead of time could you actually make this? So two days ahead is good. Okay. Um, in the refrigerator and, like, um, put it in, like, a a plastic bag or in like a corsage box container, something you don't want to put it in just like this. You want to have some kind of plastic over it so it has a little moisture retained to the flowers. And I imagine you probably want to cut the the flower as close to the yes. bud as possible. So for that those one, to lay flat, I mean, you could. Take, why don't you take this one? Okay. And then I'll hold this. Okay. So you're gonna take a little bit of this floral adhesive. And I know that this is not completely finished, but I'll tell nope, you what, I, I would just wear it just it. like that. Yeah, halfway. So there's that floral adhesive right on there. And how long does this take to now dry? Now you're going to have to hold it for about a minute for it okay. to stay. Okay. Um, it's pretty It's pretty quick. You hang on to that. I'm going to okay. show you in the next flower. So then I took something like this blue thistle. It's really hardy. And all I did was cut all of these little pieces off the edge. I really love that you're putting the dainty flowers with the Oops. ones that are more... Right. Substantial. And then you add these, you know, glue those little pieces in. Or a little bit of, um, again, this estrange is really cute. You know, you could you could cut that, so add a little bit of that. And you and can, like we just said, leave it like this and just and go good. with it like that. Or, or do the entire cuff and actually cover the jewelry itself. But this would be right. nice, you know. To actually so, have yeah, it you can just go across it. You don't even have to finish. You could just go, you know, oh, right down diagonally the center. down the center and you How still beautiful. see this. Um, now, or you can finish it. We finished a whole one. Now, what about this bracelet that you've made out of twine? So, this that right here, go that ahead and grab so that bracelet beautiful. there. Look at so, that. this is a great one for uh, bridesmaids that? or if you had a sister and she's not quite right. the bridesmaid maybe or, you know, the little girls. Oh, that's right. So, this one, what we did is we actually took twine and we just braided it. So cool. And we use that as our base. And then I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay. This becomes my base. And then I just glued the heads of succulents. This is just a succulent mm -hmm. plant. And just glued that on there. And I also ended up gluing that estrangia flower on there. How beautiful. And I just Amy. added it in, a little bit of Helleborus, glued that on. And then we added two pieces of ribbon at the ends. And then you give me your wrist. So creative and so modern. And that's it. And so elegant all at the same time. Do you know what you could even do with this? Even for the flower girls, make them headbands. Yeah, it's the same same process. 